Next pass attorney line, step forward. Stop. You've been selected for a TSA pat down that involves whole body head to toe search procedure. Passport and boarding pass, please. Okay. And passport. What happened to your passport? Oh. You do have it, okay? Yes. Very good. I misplaced it in my purse. Okay. State your name, please. Amber. Going to compare the photograph with you. Okay. That is you. Where are you coming from to Amber? Austria. Austria. And what are you doing in Austria? Where was um, the visit? Yeah, I was traveling around. Um, I went to a kangaroo petting zoo as well as the Sydney Opera House. In Austria? Yes. Are you sure that was in Austria? And what else did you see in Austria? Um, I saw a real life Outback Steakhouse as well. They have those in Austria today? Yes. Wow, things have changed since I was last there. And what else did you see? Um, I saw um, another opera house. Two opera there, houses? Yes, there's a lot. I, I'm a fan of the opera. Well, I don't believe any of that because your boarding pass is that you're coming from Australia. Oh, that's what I meant. Sorry. So where are you coming from, Amber? Australia. Are you sure about that? Yes. Are you traveling alone? Yes. Have you noticed any suspicious activity in the airport? Um, there was someone crying in the bathroom, but that was it. Okay. Are you bringing anything with you from Austria, Australia, maybe a baby kangaroo or something? Um, no. Okay, have you seen any mountains? Um, no. You've not seen any mountains um, in um, Austria or Australia? Um, unfortunately, I am too short. You're too short to see a mountain? Yes. Okay. I will take that answer for now. Okay, do you suffer from any medical conditions I should be aware of? Um, no. What is the value of this jewelry? Have you declared it to the customers? Um, it's um, from a market. I don't know how much it cost. Bag. I want to check a bag. So this is very highly suspicious. Mm -hmm. You're not knowing your, where you're coming from, telling me you're seeing kangaroos in Austria. It's not going to go for me. I have been to both Austria and Australia, and I can tell you there are no kangaroos in Austria. And the Sydney Opera House is in Australia, okay? So, you are on my suspicious list. Do you have anything you want to tell? Um, Before I, I like this jacket. The, you like the jacket? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to get to the jacket in a minute. Okay. I'm going to check the bag now. Do you got anything sharp in here? Um, no. What is this? Um, I bought it in the market as well. It's for my niece. Which market was it? Um, it was in Australia near the petting zoo. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to send this to our lab team and check the substance inside. Looks liquid and you're not allowed to transport liquids with you. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, this stays with me. Confiscate. This video is sponsored by Dossier a company that sells premium, quality, ethical, affordable perfume for all. Say yes to smelling good and no to overpaying. I recently got a couple more perfumes from Dossier because I love them so much. Dossier sent me the Woody Basil perfume 
inspired by YSL's Loam, which retails for $89. Get it here at Dossier for a regular price of $29, so much cheaper. This perfume is a wonderful fresh herb garden type of a smell and it's so masculine. It has a 15% concentration that makes it very potent and it's just an unmistakably masculine fragrance that expresses timeless elegance. I also got the floral violet perfume, which was inspired by Marc Jacobs' Daisy, which retails for $101. Can you believe it? Dossier sells it for $29 and it's the same exact scent. I also got the Gourmand Orange Blossom perfume inspired by Lancome's La Vie Belle, which retails for $118. That's a designer price. You don't want to pay that. You want to pay $29 for the same exact perfume right here at Dossier. The Woody Green Apple inspired by Paco Rabanne's One Million perfume that sells for $106. So that's quite pricey. Dossier sells it for $29 and it's the same crisp with a dash of cinnamon type of smell that you're going to get from the designer. It has a 12% concentration, it's very masculine, and it's a colorful combination of hot cinnamon, fresh apple mint, and grapefruit. Tosia was also kind enough to send me their Amberry Cherry Room Diffuser. It retails for $34, and it's going to last you so long. The scent is inspired by Tom Ford's Lost Cherry Perfume. It's vibrant, cheerful, colorful. It's going to just make any room come alive. It's going to refresh everything and it's just such an incredible smell. Click on the link in the description down below and use code LUNALAX10 for 10% off. You will get premium products at incredibly affordable prices. <clears throat> Checking the bag for any hidden compartments. Right. This is also going to stare at me. Um, okay. I'm going to put on thick leather gloves and I'm going to inspect your body. The intention is to find anything hidden on you. Are you hiding anything today? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Because, you know, you seem to be getting a little bit confused where you're coming from. I don't know if even your name is... What's your name again? Amber. Amber, yes. That's the name you gave me earlier. All right. Well, I'm going to start my procedure. Hands out of the pockets. That's right. And I'm going to start by just inspecting your jacket. Is this your jacket? Yes. It has a lot of pockets. Yes. Anything in them? No. Okay. I do have to make sure. Okay, nothing.
It was really cold. A second jacket, really. Yes, I, I like to travel light. I don't believe in checking bags. You know that in Australia is summer right now. Um, Why are you It was to... cold in the airport. That makes sense. This is also going to stay with me since I don't believe anything you're telling me today. I mean, that was from my sister. Is your sister traveling with you today? No. Um, she's at home with my niece and nephew. And where are your luggages? Um, I just had my purse. To Australia? Such a long travel? Um, it was a quick trip. Because the time changed and now I'm back, so it was only like a day long. Mm, that doesn't add up. Mm. <laughs> no touching the hair. I don't want you to move, okay? Because you are one of the most suspicious travelers I've had in a long time. Do not move. This looks like uh, an oversized jacket. Are you sure it's yours? Yes. It was a hand-me-down from my sister. My mom gave it to her, but it's not her style. My mom's not the best at giving gifts. Okay, I'm gonna unbutton it. Checking in between the fingers, not hiding anything. Please remove your jacket. the brand of the jacket name? Um, it's from Macy's. Strike three. Sorry, I'm at Nordstrom's. I don't believe this jacket is yours. What is the size of the jacket? Um, a small. It's an extra small. See, I'm telling you, something is suspicious about you. Kicking on some. Kicking on this one. Gonna check your hair to make sure you're not hiding anything in there. In the ears, the nose, 
and open your mouth. Okay, nothing in there. Anything in your pockets in the back? No. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. Good to do this. Okay. 
you do have something, you have a hole in your jeans. Um, they were made like that. Um, it's an evil eye. What was it doing in your pocket? Um, I bought it in Turkey. And why do you need an evil eye for? Are you doing any evil? No. It, um, I'm just worried about, um, other evil people, you know, the airport. But how is an evil eye gonna protect you from other evils? It's evil. I thought it was the opposite. I thought it was like a suit of armor type thing. I'm gonna confiscate this and make sure there's nothing hidden in it. Anything evil anywhere else? No. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. more holes here. What are you doing with all these holes? Um, they were in style when I bought them. Spread out your legs for me a moment.
to inspect your shoes next. Please remove them. Checking for hidden compartments. Okay. All right, I'd like you to support yourself against the wall and elevate your right foot. Checking in between the tiles.
now I'll have the other foot. Oh, what happened here? Why do we have a bandage? Um, I had foot surgery in Mexico. You also traveled to Mexico? Um, not, that was last week. Hmm, okay. That does feel like your toe. Let's see if you're having anything in there. Can um, put your socks back. And your shoes. I'm going to give you the jackets back. You're going to need them where you're going. Oh. Okay. Are you sending me to Antarctica? Alaska? You will see. Definitely not Austria. Nor Australia. Oh, bummer. I'd really like to visit again. I'm sure you would. You can put your jacket back on, yeah. Um, I said this other one, you're gonna need this one too. Great. But unfortunately, that's the only thing I'm gonna give you today. You're not getting your passport, you're not getting your bag because you're arrested. What? Hands behind your back. <laughs> Everything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to an attorney if you can afford one. Doesn't this violate the Geneva Convention? No, it does not violate the Geneva Convention. The United States did not sign, did not ratify it. So I'm Shit. sorry, but you're busted today. <laughs>